But Oathburger Concerned Citizens Group stacked the room at last week's Board of Education meeting, questioning the salaries of school district employees, past and present legal issues with the board, and alleged harassment. Expectedly, NBCCG President Larry Weinstein led the charge. Now, Mr. Latour, can you tell us the process that you proceeded with to grant him this position? Hello, Mr. Latour. Hello. I'm over here. Yes. I want to know the process on how you hired Senator Sacco, Mayor Sacco, Director Sacco. As you know, through your local request, the process that um, Mr. Nick Sacco, Director Nick Sacco, was hired was we had a process, we advertised it. And, uh, it was not advertised. And once it was out there, we had an applicant interview as any other job would be and he mm -hmm. had new skills for that position. So we picked him out of that. Yes. Yeah. Mr. Murray called it. It wasn't advertised. And the over up that it was the other side of the applicants. And do you know and do you know that when that inner school memo went out, the only person that responded was Mayor Sacco. We know that. But the inner school memo is an advertisement, Mr. Weinstein. Oh, no, in a release sent to various media outlets, including Hudson County TV, Weinstein claimed Hispanic parents who brought up legitimate concerns at the meeting were forcefully escorted from the podium by police in various instances. After watching over an hour of raw footage from the meeting, there only appeared to be one instance where a parent had to be asked to return to her seat by North Bergen PD. <laughs> My son have assisted a, a school system where, where you know, they, you know, he he's supposed to be supported by the staff and the, the teachers. What what my 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 son have suffered is that he have been hit by the security of the school system and they have thrown their items and, and, and he's been enforced to pick it up and because he has it. If she needs a translator, should she be allowed more time? No, half of the time is being translated. Including the meeting was Katie Baco a resident who wanted to know what the board policy was on background checks for district employees. ...by many of the parents in this room and perhaps intensified by the possible criminal pedophile charges against someone on your own board. My question is, is it your policy to allow teachers to have access, daily access, to our children for over a month before the background investigation has even been completed? It's a those with proper certification is that each each of these teachers may have come in with a certificate of eligibility. And the certificate of eligibility allows them to look for a job. Okay? And that certificate of eligibility says they fit all the requirements to become a teacher through the state certification process. But this is more than them looking for a job. This is them being with their children. Okay. okay. And, and what happens is, is that once they become hired, then they get a provisional certificate and they become a provisional teacher for a year. And that is what that's speaking to, is that we hired them with their provisional certificate pending. Okay, and what happens is once we can do that, once that provisional certificate takes effect, then they have a year to then earn their standard certificate. I'm John Hydus, Hudson County TV, North Bergen.